today. From Soldier Field in Chicago. It's a special Saturday edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Justin Fields and the Chicago Bears taking on Tua Tungavailoa and the Miami Dolphins. First opened way back in 1924, but renovated in 2002. There's a look inside venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Just a short time ago, this crowd loud enough to shake the foundations of this nearly century-old building. They are ready for football indeed in Chicago as their guys get set to do battle with the Miami Dolphins. Jason Sanders now to get this one started and off we go from Soldier Field. A nice little gift there to start the ball game as they will begin things at the 40 yard line. Wishing he had a mulligan. That's not how you want to start the game. Not at all because not only do you give up the penalty and good field position but it just kills the momentum of your team as you start a game. First down, it's Fields. And his first look is incomplete. Jimmy Graham, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. On second and ten. Fields rolling to his and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Emmanuel Agba that time able to drop him for a loss. All right, partner, I'm going to be Captain Obvious right here. Not the start you're looking for offensively, right? Incomplete pass followed by a sack. And when he went down, it looked like that right ankle got turned, but thankfully he popped up okay, and they breathe a sigh of relief on that sideline. So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. Throwing on third down, Fields. The screen pass here to Cullen. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage, it'll be back at the 36. A three-yard loss, fourth down now. The whole idea of the screen pass is to fool the defense in a big way and create a big play. They weren't fooled. Not one <laughs> second, not one bit. How about them figuring it out, diagnosing it, and spilling it for lost yardage? So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. Jakeem Grant back deep for Miami. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. The Dolphins ready to go to work on offense, led by their second-year quarterback out of Alabama. It's Tua Tungavailoa. Absolutely no one's surprised that Dolphins did invest a high first-round pick, number five overall to draft Tua in 2020. I think that most people would say that his rookie year had plenty of positives. But it was sprinkled with a few negatives as well. Remember, he controversially took over for Ryan Fitzpatrick during the open week prior to week eight. Miami did go six and three in his starts from that time. But he had to get rescued a few times in games by Fitzmagic. And in his own words, he called his rookie year below average. I don't think the franchise believes that, but they're looking forward to seeing him improve. Now we're going to get a stoppage. There appears to be an injured bear on the field. Definitely the last thing you want to see here in a preseason game. We'll be right back. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. On the handoff, it's Gaskin. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 
That burst good for 20 and a first down. A nice substantial run there by Gaskin, who was the Dolphins' leading rusher in 2020. 584 total yards in just seven starts and got stronger as the season went on. Not bad for a seventh round pick in 2019. He was drafted number 234 overall that season. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 49 yard line. Here's Gaskin. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47 yard line. Roquan Smith, the Bears leading tackler last year, up to make the play. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Second and seven. This is Gaskin on the carry. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. And he's got Rome. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 54 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation. We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Now they'll throw with Tagovailoa. They'll get this out wide to Gaskin. That catch good for only a couple. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. They'll run now with Gaskin. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. It'll be a loss of 13 on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Tua going to throw. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Gesicki. They get a big amount back, 18 yards, but they'll still look at a fourth down now. Nice job understanding the situation. Third and long, kept the play in front of them and made the tackle. They gave up a good chunk of yardage, but it does force a fourth down. Sanders' kick is good. And the Dolphins will jump out to a 3-0 lead. So it'll remain to be seen how many drives this unit gets in, this being the preseason. But here they start with three points. Yeah, I don't know that we'll actually see them anymore. They got three points on the board, one drive here in preseason in this game. Baseball caps, NFL approved, of course, for everyone. On the return, it's Tariq Cohen. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves job that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And they'll fake the handoff. Now Fields. On the move to his left. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. 